learning how to read the room, right? Now, this is important and this is important because, well, for many reasons and in many different situations, but in my case, I can share that the way I learned to read the room was number one, as a woman, you're always reading your space to make sure that you're safe. So that goes without saying, you always walk in and you make sure like what's going on, am I the only woman here, this kind of stuff. But that is just something that we do as women because you know, safety is always something that we need to, that we worry about. But um, learning to read a room, I did that when I was used to work in bars and nightclubs and restaurants and all that stuff. And it was interesting to see because at the beginning of the evening behind the bar, people looked very different and you know, you start to get to know people by the way they stand, by the way they, they, they interact with one another. For those of you that do have a lot of anxiety when you walk into new spaces, I suggest doing a simple anxiety, you know, reducing exercise where you're getting out of your head and you're getting into the space, right? We get out of our heads and we live out there with everybody else. And it could be as simple as identifying objects in the room. Oh, this is nice. They were kind of floor that they put. Oh, nice. Take a look at the menu. Take a look at the bottles that they have. What do they offer? Um, oh, I see that they, you know, nice. I mean, there's so many details that you could look at so that you can get out of your head and slow your breathing down and slow yourself down. That is part of reading the room, is being able to slow down. We live in a world where everything needs to be so quick and every second we need to be entertained or seeing something. And really being just in a space is really uncomfortable for people now, in an elevator. And just, it's the places where you should be able to stand still and just be, but it's really difficult and you're not alone. This is, this is very common. So I always say, just tap into your five senses. What is the kitchen cooking? It smells really good. What does the bar look like? Watch people make drinks. This starts to slow your mind down and it starts to relax you and starts getting you in the present moment which is what mindfulness is about so this helps you also read the room because once you get out of your head and you, you're able to slow your breathing down and you're able to just connect with the space and see and maybe by then you're standing at the bar patiently waiting for a drink or patiently waiting to get a menu or whatever it is you're waiting for a table you are present and you are there and you're in like increasing your possibilities of connection which is what we do when we go out if not why wouldn't you just stay home you can buy a bottle for a lot cheaper you could whether it's wine or a tequila or a champagne whatever it may be you can order food, you can cook your own food. Why are you out? You're not out to be on your phone. I see that all the time. People eating at the bar on their phone and they never look up. Why not just do it at home? Just order takeout and sit at home and do it because you want connection. That's the reality. You want connection. And it's normal as humans that we want connection. So in order to get connection and not and no one to enter and exit a conversation or enter a space and not like go up to a woman when she's in the middle of an important conversation with her friend about something and then you come in, maybe she wants to talk to you, but you just walked in at an awkward moment and uh and you're not gonna be able to connect the way you wanted to but if you were paying attention you were paying attention that it looks like they're really in a deep conversation you'll, you'll wait and you wait for a moment when things get a little lighter and you can see that they're laughing and now they start looking around the room because now they're reading the room okay so reading the room is really key but you need to slow down you need to put your phone away and you need to really connect to what's going on in the room i will be making a video about you know etiquette at a bar, uh, etiquette with doormen, and how to get into the places you want to get into, how to really go out and really have a good time. I know it can be tough for men going out, and so I am going to create a video soon addressing all of that stuff so that you can actually go out and have more fun instead of having anxiety about going out. There is a way to do it where you can maximize your fun and not feel that you're just wasting your time or just that you get really anxious before you go out. So I will be making a video about that in the future. So make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so now that you have, you've walked in, you've made some eye contact with people, which can be men and women, the staff of the restaurant, that's always great. Way to walk into a place with your phone away and you're looking and making eye contact, you can nod at a few people, you know, nods going down and nods going up, doing something different. I'm not gonna get into it now, but it does, it, it's a way to connect with people as well. And, uh, and you're smiling, okay? And a smile not attached to anything without any agenda is always going to connect you with people, okay? Always. Um, I always say a smile is the best accessory from anyone, right? Whether you smile at a child or you smile at even an animal can read uh, the, 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 you know, the facial cue of a smile. So when you're walking into a space and now you have walked in, you, you know, let people know you arrived, but like not in a threatening way, but in an assertive way without your phone. And you've looked around the room and you've nodded at a couple people and said hello. And you know, you've made your way to the bar. Now you got the wait staff and the bartender's on your side and you have slowed down your breathing and you're there, you're present. You're able now to connect with people. And my, my number one thing is be authentic. Okay. People can smell the BS. Women can smell the BS and people in general. That would be authentic. If it comes up that you haven't been out in a long time because you know, 
whatever reason, and it's the truth, you, you've been avoiding going out. This happened to me the other day. Someone said, oh yeah, you know what, I've been avoiding going out because I became somewhat antisocial during the pandemic. That's a really honest share. And it was really authentic. And I said, yeah, you're not alone, you know, and we got into a great conversation about that. That's one thing that you can connect with any person on this earth right now. We all experienced the pandemic. <laughs> so we all have a story. I'm not saying go around having pandemic stories. I'm just saying we always can connect with people if we come from an authentic space. People can read it and know it. So make sure that it's authentic. Talking about yourself or or like what you have is not attractive. And usually this is where I say, be more interested than interesting, right? Ask questions, be there with the person, actively listen to what they're saying instead of thinking about what you're gonna say next, which if you do that, you actually don't even have to think about what to say next because they're gonna tell you something that's gonna cue you to ask a question. So a lot of people think, just because we're talking about the smiles, that a true man, a powerful man walks in and doesn't smile. I'm gonna say that, yeah, I guess, I mean, it depends what you're walking into. Maybe if you're in prison, yeah, that's probably the look to go for. But if you're walking into a place and you're trying to attract people and women, and, and the thing is a charismatic person, a charismatic man in this case, is charismatic with everyone. Charismatic with older people, younger people, children, animals, men, and women. So smiles are good for everyone and they're, they connect you with people and they let people know that, hey, you're trustworthy. So this whole idea that like, oh, you should walk in and yes, take up space, but it's not to dominate, right? If you're starting that whole thing where now you feel you have to dominate someone or it's inauthentic, okay? You're not going out to dominate people. So this whole idea of, of strength through domination and this whole no smiling or, you know, acting like you don't care or the whole one of those things where they say you give a compliment then you say something crappy after like that's all bs and anybody who is confident truly confident in themselves is going to smell that and is going to just think you're a joke okay so don't do that stay authentic stay comfortable within yourself and you know what if you do fumble everybody fumbles everybody fumbles everybody falls on their face everybody goes to the bathroom everybody has embarrassing moments everybody says the wrong thing from time to time and you tell yourself that and you let it go that's another thing not to be attached to okay so again just have fun be authentic and the people that are also reading the room are going to read that in you and you're also looking for that look for people who look like they're smiling like they're having fun like they're not looking at people like down like they're better than people that if someone else approaches them they're open to listen to what the person is saying regardless of how whether they're interested in them or not you know is are these people or uh, these ladies in particular the particular one like, is she out to have fun is she looking to connect and have fun and uh and is a nice person really it says a lot about how she feels about herself so that's my suggestions that i do when i go in and i read a room that's what i look for i look for people who seem like they're having a good time like they're not really like, not that they don't care what people think of them, but they're not there to impress anyone. They're there to be who they are and to have a good time, to enjoy the food, to enjoy the company of their friends. If they're alone, which I go, I've gone out many times alone when I travel, you know, and I always make friends and I always meet people. And it's not just because I'm a woman, I know other women who don't do that, who are afraid to do that. So it is a skill and skills are not automatic. We have to work at them.